good evening to all this is in continuation of series of videos on steam turbine today's video is related to relative veloc uh, velocity triangle of impulse and reaction turbine in the previous video i have seen that although we have uh, deliberated about the velocity triangle of impulse steam turbine in this video you will see how the construction of velocity triangle at inlet and outlet are done in a very simple way and i am very sure that this video is going to be very interesting so do keep watching until the end and subscribe the channel share it and please don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want to see the videos of uh, you know previous videos of a steam turbine then please visit my you know, channel as well as description box where you will see the links so let's begin the discussion on velocity triangle formation of impulse and reaction steam turbine these are the velocity triangle is uh, you know constructed at the mean position of moving blades at inlet and outlet so these are the you know inlet uh, condition or inlet velocity terms normally in turbine inlet is denoted by suffix 2 and outlet as 3 so outlet is shown here but measurement and construction is done at the mean position velocity are in meter per second and uh, blade blade is in degree you see the moving blade of impulse and reaction turbine since it is a reaction blade that means if you look at the profile of this so this is larger circle this is smaller the larger shows the larger cross section area a smaller shows the smaller cross section area so the outlet cross section area of blade moving blade is a, a smaller than inlet and so the velocity relative velocity at outlet is greater than or larger than inlet and because of this you will see there is a drop of pressure when you know steam is flowing in the moving blade and this is what is called the reaction because the higher velocity relative velocity helps you know in the movement of uh, rotor this is the actual photograph you will see that this is larger area and then out in this inlet this outlet is a smaller area for the impulse and reaction turbine please note that impulse and reacts reaction action occurs only in the moving blades so now let's draw the inlet velocity triangle so this is the inlet mean velocity triangle inlet mean absolute velocity that is c2 which is drawn at an angle theta 2 this is the axial direction axial means uh, what is called uh, axis of the rotor and these are the rings uh, this is the series of uh, moving blades so the absolute velocity inlet absolute velocity theta, uh, c2 is making angle theta 2 with reference to axial and which is equal to the you can call it as a nozzle outlet angle or fixed blade outlet angle because in fixed in the impulse reaction turbine fixed blade acts as a nozzle now the next step is to draw the inlet mean c2 for the time being ignore it will will come c2 later u2 is the inlet mean tip velocity 
which is uh, the mean tip velocity of uh, moving blade which is drawn from this to this point depend what is magnitude of this u2 is pi d to n pi d to m into n upon 16 to 1000 d to m is the inlet blade mean diameter of the moving blade now the inlet uh, mean relative velocity that is c2 just join the starting point of c2 and starting point of u2 this will give the inlet mean relative velocity v2 and uh, this v2 is actual angle it in case the angle of the inlet blade angle this is a relative velocity if you board on the wheel moving blade you will see the steam is coming at at an angle of v2 now inlet mean whirl and inlet mean relate uh, axial velocity so the tangential component of c2 is called the inlet mean whirl velocity cw2 and axial component of c2 is called ca2 this is the inlet mean axial velocity and beta 2 you can see this is beta 2 is the inlet blade mean blade angle because again angle is also changing of the blade height so we have to take this case as a mean position of the inlet blade so this is the beta 2 is inlet mean blade angle which is measured from axial now let's draw the outlet velocity triangle so you have to draw the outlet mean relative velocity first which is v3 which is larger than v2 because there is a reaction reaction means the outlet cross section area is smaller and that is why the relative velocity v2 v3 is larger than v2 and what is angle that is beta 3 you can see this is a beta 3 the blade outlet blade angle mean mean position blade angle so this is the v3 is great v3 is greater than v2 because of reaction now let's draw u3 u3 is a outlet mean relative uh, outlet mean uh, uh, what is called blade angle oh sorry blade velocity and the u2 u3 is pi d3 m n into n upon 16 to 1000 but in blade moving blade inlet and outlet mean position are same that means d3 m is equal to d2 m and so u3 is equal to u2 so here you can say u3 is equal to u2 so you have to draw in the direction of motion of the Tip, tip velocity so this is the tip velocity so you have to draw in this direction now outlet mean absolute velocity you have to join the starting point of v3 and the end point of u3 this will give the inlet outlet mean absolute velocity that is c3 and it has angle that is a theta 3 which is measured from the axial now the outlet mean uh, whirl outlet mean whirl velocity that is cw3 you can see the tangential component of c3 is this smaller one cw3 and axial component of c3 that is outlet mean absolute velocity is ca3 and uh, angle theta 3 is the outlet mean absolute velocity angle measured from the axial direction so i hope you have enjoyed the watching the construction of inlet velocity triangle and outlet velocity triangle of impulse and reaction steam turbines so thank you thank you for watching